Hey everybody. So today I'm taking a look at creating a relationship in an abstract ERD. So what we're going to do is we're going to have two different entities. I want to see how they relate. So let's take a look at what we've got created. Now, if you look at this, customers came from our previous example, and you can go back and look at that online if you want to about how we create that. I have also added a new entity called orders. And order has some basic information such as the order ID, the customer ID, date ordered, product total, taxes, and shipping, as well as a status. Now, this is just a snapshot of what you might see. You might see some more things. You might see a few less things. All depends upon your unique and specific circumstance. So you might be looking at this going, well, wait a second. In orders ID, I have an order ID and a customer ID. Why do I have that? Well, we're seeing how a customer has to place the order. Therefore, we want to link those two. That is our basic relationship at this point. Now, we could have other relationships out there as well, but for just general speaking, that's the relationship that we're looking at right now. Now, this is a one-to-many relationship. That is, one customer can order multiple times. So we're going to see how we're going to create that row. And come over here and you notice by each of my fields, I have a little dot. So I'm going to drag from my customer. I'm going to drag over here to my customer ID. And you'll notice I have a little crossover on my customer ID for customers. And on orders, my customer ID has kind of like this arrow. That shows there's one customer ID and it can occur multiple times inside my orders. Now I can have multiple customers, but each of those customers can have multiple orders. I cannot have with this instance, one order that has multiple customers. And that's an important thing. And if you think about it, that's the way it typically works. You know, if I go down to my local grocery store, I'm the one who's paying. Okay. It's only me who's ordering it. The person behind me in line, they've got their own order. Same thing if I go to Amazon or any other type of e-commerce site. I'm the one who's doing the ordering. This is my order. I'm a customer. I pay my money. I get my products. This is a very typical thing that one to many. Now, a lot of times people like to put a description in here. This is usually a verb and I can double click on this line and I can specify my text. So I can say something like buys. So the way we read this is customers buys an order, or maybe we do purchases an order, something like that. Just kind of give us an appropriate verb that lets us know what is occurring here. So this is a really good thing. Now, the other thing I can do is over by my claw foot here, I can double click and add new text. And I might put some limit in here, like say it has to occur between one and six times. Okay. So I have to have at least one customer have at least one order, but customers can't have more than six orders. And that's pretty rare, you know, so we're just going to leave it like that. So we have buys and you see an instance like that where a customer can buy as many times as they want. It was many different orders. And so we often think of this as an infinite number of times. So this is a very basic ERD where we're showing a relationship between two different entities in a one to many relationship. The one to many relationship is by far the most common relationship that you're going to see. And that's what we have here. Stay tuned to look for other examples of how to create ERD diagrams coming up.